What's up guys, the Maniac Gamers. Finally, finally, the next campaign mission is out. If you're watching this right now, you are on the latest episode of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign mission playthrough from the Maniac Gamers, aka myself. It's been a crazy ride. I've had computer issues day in, day out. My PC kind of broke. Uh, then I was able to kind of fix it. And in the meantime, I actually ended up building a new PC, which also came with defective parts. It was just a nightmare from day in. Like I said, it was insane. With that said, I'm finally finished. So I am playing on my new PC now. And to get the files from the old one for this game took forever because I needed the original clips from another video to make this one. And now that that's ready, we can finally continue the campaign. My goal is for the month of October to finish up the Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign in its entirety. And then I will be starting the next one, the Fallen Order gameplay, next month in November when it comes out. Picking up distress calls. Too many to count. Del, the Corvus is yours. Cover the sky. Sherv and I will help on the ground. Hold on a moment. Iden. Make sure you come back. Make sure I have a ship to come back to. Hey, Shrift, I hope you survive this incredibly dangerous mission as well. Thank you, Del. Your friendship means everything to me. Ah yes, uh, the gonk droid. The, ah yes, the classic gonk droid. What are we even doing? I've got two distress beacons near your location. Oh no! Where were we with the campaign? I should rewatch my videos. You guys should probably rewatch my videos. Yeah, let's let's get some more watch time. Let's hit those thousand subscribers faster. Everybody, rewatch my videos from the previous campaign missions if you wish. If you haven't seen them. I think you will definitely enjoy them. We're on mission, I think this is like 7, 8, 9, or 10 or something like that. I have no clue. We're getting towards the end for sure. Like, there's only a couple more missions after this one. So, and then there's the resurrection campaign, which I will be doing as well. Del, we're approaching a distress beacon. Patch me in. Yes, Mom. What? This is Captain Lindsay. Our ship has crashed. The Imperial walkers are cutting through the survivors. We need evac now. It's crazy because I remember playing through these the first time. Like, I remember how these missions go and stuff. No spoilers here. Come on, guys. Why do have to be so far away? Got some awesome new content for you guys. Different content, too, in addition to the content I'm doing right now. You know... Battlefront 2 is great. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Like I said, always open to feedback. Ooh, interesting. Help is on the way, Captain. Anyway, they're just talking about the mission and stuff. Oh, I feel like this does add a good layer of... Uh... Oh, you have to land here. Ha 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 ha. I'm like flying around like an idiot. Those ATATs are closing in on our crash site. Keep us covered, Captain. We're landing on your position. Thank you, Commander. We were shot down on our way to Carbon Ridge. We'll get you there. We Let us go. Until both workers have been destroyed. I know. We need an orbital strike. Where are your macro binoculars? When we I actually don't remember this part of the mission, but. Right they made you switch to that. I just switched my gun. I hate that she cannot crouch. Oh, that's a teammate. I'm so sorry, buddy. 
But like, I hate that she cannot roll. Like, ah. There's one stormtrooper standing in the middle of these guys. What is going on, my guy? You good there, bro? You good there, bro? You good there, bro? How you doing, bro? There's a blaster through your head, buddy. Do you mind? Like, it's like impaling you. Like, it's... Uh, let's see. <laughs> what the... Oh my gosh, it looks like he's wearing binoculars. Look, 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 look. Wait. Let's see here. There we go. Bin... He's like... <laughs> That's great. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we can just go through these people. They're just standing still. They're like... Anyway, moving on to the actual mission. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, there you are, Shriv. Inferno Squad calling Starhawk Command, requesting an orbital strike. Shriv, you feeling good? Starhawk Command, Inferno, you are no for orbital. Paint your target for rainfire. Why does that? Why am I doing this? Like, I can literally decapitate him with my gun. That's so messed up. Cover me. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh wow, they came out. Oh, I can't roll away. That's so frustrating. Whoops, sorry, buddy. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody. Just get in a circle and start punching him. That is how we do it. That is how we do it. Let's see what they do. Let's see what happens here. Come on. That's right! There's like so many of us surrounding him, but we cannot kill one guy. The bots are li real bots. Oh! Ooh, nice. Why is it shaking so much? Why does it have to shake? There we go. We've lost half our men. We're gonna lose more if they keep standing still like that. That's pretty dope. Although I hate the fact that she cannot roll. Where are these? Disable, please. Ow! Ow! Ah! <laughs> I love how like I bounced back and like died like that. Watch me like change one in the glitch, like mess up. Where's the heal ability? No, no. This is Inferno Squad calling Starhawk Command. Oh man, now I have to start again with this crappy gun. Oh, there he is. There we go. There we go. That was an accident. Give me fire here. There we go. I love like how bad the animation is like. Keep using. Where is this? Could they please stop coming? Just keep doing all roll strikes. Come on, guys. 
did not realize those binoculars were that good. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, all five of us. Let's just pin them. Come on, guys. That's all we need, Starhawk. And thanks. You saved a lot of lives. Come on, guys. We're falling back to the evacuation zone. This way! No! Let's get Captain Lindsay out of here. Oh, that was ours? No, it wasn't ours. To heck! Yeah, that's right. All of you, just stand still. Stand still, Shrimp. Stand still. Man, like... AI. Let's just, like, be alone in a squad. If this is what's gonna happen, we don't need this. I don't need this. <laughs> like... Where's our team? Like, what's our team doing? Like, this campaign is decent, but man, some of the... I like the solo missions a lot more, where you don't depend on the bots. Who play literally like bots to do, like... You doing good, buddy? Don't worry. I got you. I got you, fam. You good. Ah, yes. Let us run back for some reason. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one going back. No, actually, they're following you. Look at that. What a good team. It's almost like I'm a commander. We regrouped, guys. Oh, yeah? Alright, buddy. Just step out of it. Step out of it, please. I dare you. I dare y'all. Just poke your little white heads out. <laughs> Still with us, Commander. Thank you so much. Well, that was easy. What? There's more? We good? Yeah, blow it up. The guys already got out. Perfect. Welcome to the Corvus. Oh. Trip, help our friends to the Corvus. Yes, help them, because they are clearly, clearly. Incompetent of walking around. Over here, what? Go! Get out of here! He's just standing still and he's I'm screaming. Del can't take off with you. I cut him off and he just turned around and looked at me like, <laughs> "Hello, buddy." Thank you, Commander. Anytime, it's Captain. Dead, Good luck out there. Oops. Triv, back to our ships. Can we talk about that orbital strike thing for a minute? Sure, what about it? That... I think that was the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you almost sound like you're enjoying yourself. I would never. That's funny. I like to get some of the dialogue. You know? Did you know? Yeah. What? Woohoo. There's a lot of this walking around, I'd say, in this campaign. Like, taking a break from it, going back to it, I realized, like, it's not, like, some of these stuff, I feel like, are not that interesting. Like, oh, boy, let's walk around and go to an X-Wing. Yeah, let's get back in. Like, it's realistic, but why? to reach that and I just like shooting people but what's what's the point you don't get any battle points so what happens if we cross paths with your dad we've spent so long trying to track him down I really don't know what happens if we find him now we should focus he's not the mission Phantom squadron inbound on the Empire's ground defenses when all right we're taking these guys out we're working on getting the Ravager out of this fight. Alright, these punks. Bombers. Taking y'all down in like one run. Nice job. No, 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 no. Here we go! Nice. Okay, that's that. Thank you. Commander, that down Star Destroyer is deploying bomber reinforcements to an Imperial research facility Wait, what? in Carbon Ridge. That facility is a key target for the Republic. Fight! We can cut off those bombers from inside the hangar. Great idea. 
Find somewhere to land. I remember this part actually. Oh, the game in the animation looks beautiful. How are we gonna shut down that hangar? We get inside and search the records for remote detonators. Also, it's pretty cool how like the voices change in volume depending on how close or far you are to them. They don't know we're here. Good. Stay close. Wait until I open fire. I'm pretty sure you can like cheat the game by like running around. From that First we need enough detonators. Then that's where we're going. <laughs> I do not feel like going through that firefight. I remember how that works. Look at all this wreckage. Is he literally just running down there? Ship, that's for sure. Are you high? One less destroyer for the Republic fleet to worry about. One more problem for us to solve down here. Let's see if I can run around. Yes! We did it. Are oh. we running away? Ooh. Thank you. I love how he just ran in and didn't get caught. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to be seen. I don't want to be seen. I don't feel like that. I'm wearing orange. Oh, they don't know we're here, and I intend to keep it that way. Wow, Tie Fighter's flying through. That's so dope. Okay, okay. I'm up here. <laughs> I don't believe this is the way the game was meant to be played. I feel like that's a bomb. Just in case it isn't, though. We gotta stop that officer! Give me your shield! Detonator's here. That's not gonna be enough. Keep an eye out for more. <laughs> Tra -la 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 -la. More detonators. Tra -la 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 -la. Time to shut down the hangar for good. I did not want to do this. I did not want to have to deal with this. I do not want to. No! I worked so hard. We were this close to greatness. This close. Oh, just reach the hangar. Bob, Felicia. Felicia. Bye. Bye. Straight onto the ties. Bye. An explosion that size will chain all the way through the ion engine systems. And shatter the ship from the inside out. Exactly. Die pumps. All right, droid time. This is the hardest one. Whoa! What? 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 Like the gunfire stops and everything when she puts it on? Are you kidding me? How realistic is that? <laughs> That's hilarious. Let the gunshot just go through. Detonators are primed. Okie doke. Let's get out of here. Fast. Let's see. I just want to play this as, because some of the missions are tedious, not gonna lie. Like, I don't want to fight that TIE Fighter. How much fun is that? Like, ooh, let's put a TIE Fighter in. Like, see, like, see, like, the, let's just, like, twist, torture the players. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Wah. Wahoo. They're missing. He's a stormtrooper, clearly. They just keep coming. Oh, they no. Just keep shooting. That would be their rescue team. I'm trying to reach that. I'm trying to. Get to the ships. Lead the way. Bye. Please just leave me alone. They're still coming. And I'm still running. La 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 la. Keep it up. We're almost out of this. Good. I love how you can't enter from the other side. Hey, look, ma, I made it. <laughs> I hope we planted enough detonators. That guy just blows up in the air. He planted two, buddy. That I'd explosion. Say we did. Triv, regroup with the Corvus. Dell, find out where else we can help. Good job down there. Captain Lindsay and his men are taking Carbon Ridge right now. Couldn't have done it without you. Or me. How's it going up there? Hard to tell, but. I think the Empire is losing. I think you're right. I can feel it. It's almost over. Today, the Empire dies. Better late than never. It's funny how she said that at the beginning, today, the Rebellion dies. And now she said, hey, today the Empire dies. Like, it's a correlation. It's Mother obviously Mother. deliberate. Your father, he's found us. The Admiral is sending bombers after the Corvus. They'll have to get through us first. Let's take them down. Yes, Commander. No, oh no. Oh, oof, sorry. Did not mean to shoot you there, buddy. Scratch one. Got one. Hey, she's annoying like when I used to be kind of low and floaky annoying and toxic. And before you don't say used to guys, I know you're gonna say you still are. <laughs> this is how my fans base is like at this point. No, but like I used to like always say like, got him. Got him after every kill, and then somebody I like read it was like, you know, that's really annoying. I'm like, I get, but if we see you got him, I'm like, I guess. I do like, I like the fact that space is included in this game, and I do enjoy it somewhat. But I really just prefer the modes where you're in, uh, uh, when you're in on ground. And then I know seeing my track record on ground, like I was just trolling. But I just didn't feel like, I hate the open space missions, like where they just like follow you and One pin down. you down and like Bomber you just down. have a horde that you have to fight and you can so literally spend like 20 minutes fighting a horde and like it just keeps coming. Like I know better than that, so that's why. Like this one you have to destroy them. Or like if it's an indoor corridor one, like the first few missions, those were a lot of fun to fight those guys. But some of them, like, I understand the criticism for the campaign. Like, I'm not, like, I like to be positive about everything and be happy. But I'm not gonna do unnecessary parts of the mission. Like, I was initially, like, going for, like, a bunch of, like, kills and, like, but you don't get any points or anything. I knew you couldn't pass up this opportunity. Believe me, you and Dell are the least of my concerns today. There's more going on here than you understand. Squadron, attack! I do like the story though. Rewatching it now makes it a little bit more interesting. So there's like there's definitely some fun to replayability. Although I usually usually do not replay missions unless I really 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 enjoyed them or like people really want to see them or stuff like that. Like it depends. It depends on the game. For me, I get more replayability out of like playing battles, PvP stuff like that. Although, and the story, not as much as chasing down this one lone TIE fighter for like, I don't know, the past minute now. <laughs> well, he flies out of range and like, does all this cheap stuff making it just... Why? Why you bully me?
Are you kidding me? Why was that so dramatic? Biden, are you all right? I'm good. Good. Look around you. It's almost over. Not yet. Get the Corvus to safety. I'm finishing what we started. I'm gonna get my dad. Iden, he's not worth it. I have to try, Dell. Now go. Fine. Retreat! And that, my friends, was the face of a man when he knows there's no arguing with women. So you gotta do what she says, and you gotta listen to her. With that said, also, the beginning campaign bit was pretty funny with that clip, how he's like, Shriv, I'm glad your friendship means the world to me. I wish nothing bad happens to you. It's kind of getting obvious that Aiden and Del are starting to fall for each other, although they've been hinting at it throughout the campaign, but it's getting a little bit more prominent, I'd say, throughout the story, and especially this portion in the next so that's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out the girl with daddy issues and <laughs> falling for some dude very star wars-esque uh, can't wait thank you guys so much i'll be having the next upload pretty soon probably sometime this week actually in the next few days so stay tuned subscribe i'm gonna have a lot of uploads this week